nice guy and all, but I'm pretty sure that he is a serial murderer. Good morning. Alright, let's explore food in scum part number four. So, yesterday we were unlucky finding an uh, animal, so this is what happens when you find an animal. We have a donkey, I skinned it. Um, if you don't chop it up any further, you can drag it, and you can even stick it in your car, in your chest, and it will stay a uh, better percentage than when chopped up into meat, as we're doing now. Here you go, now we have lots of meat. And you want to chop it all up. So you have steaks. Donkey steak, yay! Now as you remember, all you need is cuts, meat, and any liquid. In this case soda, and you can craft sausages. Easy job done. It shows 10 out of 10, but when you scrap the sausages or a skill we're using stick, you only get one use out of it. But if you take salt in hands, craft salted donkey steak, see? 9 out of 10, and you have a steak. Unfortunately, you have to do it manually, taking in hand salt every time. I think you can make it maybe a little bit faster with a quick slot. Ah, it's eating. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> okay. And now each of these steaks say we drop all of them except one as you can remember this is just one out of ten now i'm not sure if i get the long stick out of this one let's see yeah we got a long stick let's see you can craft with just one salted a nice lovely skewer and there you have it 0.6 five five eatings so you can, once you've killed an animal and salted the meat, you get a lot of food, actually. So you really shouldn't go hungry. Right. Another fun thing we have is fish. For this, you need a fishing rod. An improvised one can do. A fishing reel, line, floater, hook, and bait. So you, in the world, you will find a... B, C, D. Different hooks. That's the small one. It's A. Medium B. C. Double. And D. Treble. You also have fish bait packs. And then floater packs. And different types of uh, fishing line, wire, whatever you want to call it, that support different weights. And how do you fish? You take the fishing rod in your hands. You have to be close to a body of water. And even if it says drink, don't drink it. It's seawater. This area, everything here, this is seawater. You can't drink this anywhere. Okay? But what you can drink is this small stream here, river, this river, this lake, river, this lake, river, this lake, all this river, and other small lakes, rivers, and streams like this one here, this one, and even this one. These are all drinkable water up to the sea. After that, no bueno. Right, fishing. You left click. And hold. You left click it and then click again and hold, I think. And then release. 
and it's somewhere far, far away. <laughs> and using your small scroll wheel, uh, scrolling like dodge you backwards, you can reel it in. And as you see the floater going underwater, you need to press uh, left mouse click. That will hook it. And then just scroll it in. And we just got... Spotted sardine. Let's keep it. Okay. Let's change the hook out for something more... Dangerous. And this is also where the... Mm, the logs and crickets come in and grasshoppers because you can use them as food see that didn't work <laughs> it sort of did another food two food up in the sky and there's food everywhere come on whoa and the line broke bye bye when the line breaks, you lose the line, floater, hook, and bait, obviously. So you need another. And you need to have the fishing rod in your hand to apply the items. Also, you have meat. Uh, salted, salted, salted. Make fish meat bait. Let's see what we can get with this. Again, we need to have it in hand to apply it. Yep. Once the bar goes to the top red, the line will break. So you want to move it left to right to reduce the tension. And keep scrolling in slowly. You should get something decent this time. And we got a 3 kilos or atta. Keep it. The fish always remains on the floor, don't ask. Okay, once you have your fish, the fish normally stays at 100% pretty long time, as far as I know. Now remember, this is 0 0.1 kilos. And <laughs> we get a sardine fillet that's 0 0.2 kilos. Okay. <laughs> Let's chop up the orata. Right, our rata was 3.2 kilos and you get only two 0.2s of fillets. Right, and I'll check taste, raw. I'm not sure you can eat it like that, can you? Yeah, I think you won't be able to eat it. Yeah, food repulsion. So you can eat something. You can even eat one, I think. Yeah. So once you wait one, have a sip of drink, flush down the food repulsion faster. But what you want to do is push long sticks, small skewer with meat, and orata fillet. Craft. And whammy, you have small skewer with meat. Five out of five. Food for days, again. I wonder if you can do anything with 
this. You can craft salted or rata fillet. Boom. And with just that one, I'm sure you can make a skewer again. Yep. Although it says it wants two, it just will do it with one at the moment. The devs are reworking the uh, food cooking system, so I'm guessing there will be big changes coming. But for now, it is how it is. So, salted one. Can we eat salted one like that? Yes, you can. He doesn't like it much, but as you can see, food repulsion does come. But it doesn't uh, come too fast. Like with mushrooms, it boom, filled. So you can get something. 50 grams. When you get 65 and 2.6 fat. But the skewer is better. The skewer will give you decent amount of energy, fat, everything, protein, water. So your guy can go survive another day. And here we have it. You can go fish everywhere around the, where there's body of water. Um, apparently, different types of fish can be found different locations, also baits and items matter. Uh, also when you're new player, old player, craving for stuff, you have airdrops on the map usually. From airdrops it's highly likely you will get MREs and chocolates and the bread and some drinks quite often. And these will keep you going for a while as well. So there you have it. This was Guide to Food Exploring Food in Scum Part 4. And I think we have one more part to do. So I'll see you all in there. See ya!